What's up, Brad fam? I had so much fun doing the two sentence horror stories a few weeks ago that I figured we would surf the internet for more creepy short stories because there were so many other ones I didn't get to include in that video and I thought they were a whole lot of fun. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, let's see what we can find. Let's just, let's try to find some, some even creepier ones than last time, which the bar was set pretty darn high, if, if I say so. I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me up. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. Well, that's just chilling. The idea of being buried alive, I think we can all agree that's a pretty darn frightening idea. I mean, especially if you're someone that suffers from like claustrophobia, like, ugh. That makes me uncomfortable. That makes, that makes my skin crawl just thinking about it. My sister says that mommy killed her. Mommy says that I don't have a sister. Ooh, that could be like a really good like psychological thriller movie. That's dope. I really like that one. Wow, like who would you believe? So let's, let's read this one because I just took a quick glance and it said security camera and I was just like, oh shit, I'm scared of that. Working the night shift alone tonight. There was a face in the cellar staring at the security camera. Yeah, I would quit. I would leave my shift and just never come back. And then, you know, maybe I'd be courteous enough to call and be like, yo, Mr. Manager. Uh, I don't know why I sounded like that. Um, I'm out. Maybe I would be nice enough to say like, yeah, there was something on the camera that shouldn't have been on the camera. Um, I guess it depends on how much I like the manager. <laughs> The nice man in the van with the puppy and candy seemed so excited to give me a ride home. Okay, where the fuck's this going? A ride home when I told him my little brother was there alone waiting for me. I'd feel bad about lying to him, but my family told me to bring home dinner and those types of humans are so easy to catch. Ooh, the fact I love me a good twist ending and the fact that you can make a twist ending in two sentences, boy, you are a girl are a great fucking writer. That is amazing. I love that. I would never have guessed in a million years it would have went like that. In two sentences, how do you do that? That m blows my mind. I feel bad that all these two sentences things like never have an author or like username attached to them. Oh man, if you know who wrote that, like comment their name down below. They, de they deserve some fucking recognition, dude. Alone one night, I couldn't find my phone. It finally rang and the voice on the line simply said, you're welcome. That would be pretty fucking terrifying. Okay, this one's so fucked up. I don't even know if I can read it. Like, should I even read this? Should I even include it in the video? This is like really, really disturbing. But I'm gonna read it anyway. So if you wanna skip the next 15 seconds, feel free. As he pulled the trigger and the bullet entered my brain, my worst fear came true. I survived. That is sh sends shivers down my spine. I opened the door to my room only to see a girl sitting on the bed, phone in her hand. Babe, I'm scared. The door just opened on its own. Whoa. But can you imagine like this whole time you think your house is haunted, then it turns out that you're the ghost and you're haunting someone else's house? Ooh. Growing up with cats and dogs, which is something I totally relate to because I've always had animals. Growing up with cats and dogs, I got used to the sounds of scratching at door while I slept. Now that I live alone, it is much more unsettling. Two ways to see this one. Meaning they got used to it while living with their parents and siblings, so like it didn't scare them, but now that they have their own place, they're only one there, but they also have a pet, it's kind of like that, ooh, is that my pet or is that something else? So like that could like not necessarily be paranormal, but the uh, reversely maybe it's the whole like it doesn't really wake you up all the way, but then like halfway through you're just like oh yeah cat go away, and then you're just like oh, fuck I don't live at home anymore. That would be pretty unsettling. What was that sound? Oh, reading these scary stories is already getting me scared. On my way home from work, a homeless man showed me a newspaper article with tomorrow's date. It said I was murdered by a homeless man while walking home. Damn, like some of these are so good. Like they could totally be plots for horror movies like that. I dig that. Like the whole idea of like being almost like stuck in like a time loop. Ooh, we're living like your worst day. Ooh, that's, that's spooky. That's some spooky shit. After a hard day at work, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. 
I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. Shit, that's heavy. A girl heard her mom yell her name downstairs, so she got up and started to head down. As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard that too. Ooh, that gives me that gives me shivers down my spine. Even though this one's like super pixelated, I can still make it out. When I came home and opened my front door, I found my wife lying in a pool of blood, gasping for air. Oh god, graphic. I wanted to rush in and help her, but I saw what was hiding the shadows across the room. Yeah, GG's. I, you know, yeah, you had to make that decision. <laughs> That's so fucked up. You had to make that decision though. It's like, honestly, you would love to think that you would like come rushing to like anyone's defense, much less a, a loved one, you know what I mean? But if you saw like the Babadook or you saw like, who's someone, like the Rake or, you know, just some, like, a, like a monster, like something like just pure evil incarnate, right? On the other side of the room. Are you so sure that you would walk into that room to try to save someone that realistically is probably already, you know? I don't know, man. I would like to think I would risk my life to save somebody, um, and like normal circumstances, but like if it's like a monster, that just feels. Then again, I guess if it's a monster, like even if you start running away, it could just still get you. So you might as well go out a hero. When I was first able to hear again, I would often talk to myself when I was alone, just to enjoy the sound in my ears. I stopped shortly after once I started hearing replies to my conversations. Oh, that's a very interesting idea i know i keep saying that but like can you imagine never being able to hear and then one day being able to which is which is wonderful right modern science is beautiful but what would you do if you did start hearing someone talk back to you even just like okay take away that aspect of it once if you just said something like oh god i gotta clean my room and then like you heard back saying yeah you do like and no one was there I know that's not a scary situation, like that, what I said wasn't scary, but like the idea of someone replying to you, it comes, it all goes back to the whole, you thinking you're alone when you're not. Ugh, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. I looked in my rear view mirror and saw my best friend sitting in the back seat. She passed away seven years ago in a car crash. I mean, I guess, again, there's, you can look at this from multiple ways. One, that's terrifying if she looks, you know what I mean? If she looks scary. Um, and I'm sure like anyone would be like taken off guard, right? You would have that initial like, what the fuck? But I mean, maybe it's like your best friend coming to like warn you that something would happen in that day. And maybe it's like best to get out of the car. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I feel like after the initial shock, I really want to be scared again if that's like a spirit or like a ghost, because it's like your best friend. It's not like it's a stranger. Now, if a stranger's in your back seat, that's fucking terrifying. That's why I always say, check your back seat before you even get in your car, because hey, one day someone could be hiding in there and you know, I. it's just best to just take the second to look. My baby loves to point and stare at me. I realize that she is pointing behind me. Okay, when I was doing all of, like the urban legend ritual 3 a.m. challenges, I said that really weird, but you guys still know what I mean. Um, a lot of you guys would say in the comments like, oh, you should have like an animal um, in the room with you because like they can like pick up on things like that. Like, um, you know, paranormal things if there's an entity in the room with you. And like whenever I find my dog staring off into the distance or like staring at a door, staring at a window, it freaks me the fuck out. I just think, what is she seeing that I'm not seeing? And am I grateful that I don't see what she sees just in case? Um, or like, do I wish I saw what she saw? I love just surfing the creepy corners of the internet to find like gems like this. Two sentence horror stories or like micro creepy pastas are like, ugh, I just love them so much. Cause like a, f a full pledge story is awesome, right? You get really into the characters, you get like a, a sequence of events, it's really cool. But when someone can capture you for just two sentences and make you feel like a whole story's in your mind from just like a few words, that is that is just so rad. I, I just love it. I'm already creeped out and hopefully this creeped you out too. And if it did, please give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you liked it and you'd like to see me explore more of the creepy corners of the internet because this is so much fun. If you guys have any recommendations, definitely put them down in the comments below. I love going by your guys' suggestions. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, which I post every Saturday, uh, make sure you turn on my channel notifications, which is the bell icon down below so that you are actually notified when a video goes up. Oh, oh, 
That scared me so much.